Are you out there? Yes. Hi. Hi, Tracy. How are you? I'm so good. I'm probably <laughs> a little bit better physically than you. Tracy had a ski accident and she's awaiting a, what was it, a repair on the knee? A new ACL. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting a new ACL. Yes. Yes. I and heard I, that I'm supposed to request a running back ACL. <laughs> make me faster <laughs> i love that i love that you you, you run on one leg otherwise you're gonna be... yeah yeah <laughs> but you're an athlete i mean you're you're an avid you know let's talk about you so you hail from where miami florida originally yes and who was it who shared er shred with you originally you did thank you unknowing unknowingly unknowingly, unknowingly. and i was searching for answers and you popped up there you go. There you go. And you are also, uh, I, I just want to put it out there because I always love to uh, give shout outs to Mimi. Mimi uh, Terrell, who is the heart of ER Shred, you know, the OG, the, the award is named after her. Um, this is her sister. So, you know, shout out to Mimi. We love you. Um, I'm sure you'll hear this. All right, Tracy. So what is your passion in life? So, um, you know, I think thought about that for a while because you ask a lot of people this and it's really um about healing but it in my later years it's about holistic healing yeah so yeah. i'm i work as a physical therapist and i was all into healing self-healing and healing others and i realized like there's a lot of misdirection in the area of healing totally so, so people totally. you, you actually to... uh, wrote about that today yeah, I mean, people, I even had it wrong. <laughs> Thanks to ER Shred, I figured some things out. But, um, you know, even just treating a shoulder or treating a neck or treating a back. Has anybody gone to a physical therapist that asks about their nutrition? Mm. I, I haven't, or stress. But I will say that stress and nutrition create inflammation and inflammation travels all over the body. So I ended up going from one shoulder to a knee to a, you know, for different people. I'm like, well, what's going on here? It's bouncing around. And, and I think the secret ingredient is, is inflammation and stress for a lot of it. So, mm, so I yes. try to treat the person more holistically. So that's my passion is getting the word out, whether it's stress reduction, mental hygiene, but shredding is the best <laughs> and the easiest. I'm still telling you. Yes, the best and the, the best and the easiest. And, and the easiest. Yeah, it's the easiest love that. thing. I love that. It's not. It's you don't have to twist my arm to to eat like a king or a queen, right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Give me. How long have you been a physical therapist? Thirty something years. Yeah. So I just want to Maybe mention, guys. Me. You know, this is a health professional we're speaking to. I always make sure to to. Uh, appreciate and you know to acknowledge that this is a health professional who does not need to to give her endorsement who does not need to put her reputation uh her credibility on the line and yet she is um why are you doing that tracy well i've i've seen what doesn't work <laughs> and i've seen the horrors i wrote about it today i, I can't the horrors of what i see with poor diets and poor doctors recommendations so um, I, I've treated everything from head injury to trauma to orthopedic, everything. Mm -hmm. But the elderly and the people that start to get infirmed is where I ended up towards, um, there was a transition in my life and I was like, okay, I'll do some home health. And when I looked at their counters and what was on it and the amount of bottles with pills in them and they're all supposed to fix them and they keep getting worse and worse. And I'm like, if I could clear this counter off and give them some really solid nutrition, yeah. I'm wasting their money. Otherwise I really, me going there was wasting their money. And I started to feel so disingenuous that I actually finally stopped. Cause I knew that what I was doing was just collecting money and they weren't getting better. And, and it was so sad. It really was, it broke my heart. So. Yeah. You're going anyway. to, you're going to supercharge our other health professional on the line. Jesse gets really jazzed about this stuff because, you know, is living in our eighties, nineties, is it, is it really that much to brag about in terms of longevity? If the quality of life isn't there. Um, it's you know. for the birds. 
no yeah. it's suffering it's really just living suffering is what i've seen so yeah yeah how long ago how long ago were you introduced to er shred so i got introduced on the first round in october of 2020 Dang, i joined you right I just, away i saw I just, your first video and i was all in no way because i've been reading a book on primal uh, there was a head injury guy that wrote a book on the primal way of eating and i was all in with the raw butter and he was even eating raw meats and stuff like that. And I'm like, okay, it's prime. And then you pop up Captain Caveman. And I'm like, okay, there's a group and I know this guy and I can do this. And he Thank got more so primal much. the more I followed you. It was like, yeah, this is. <laughs> it's because the more I go, the, the further I go it there. It gets better. It gets better. I ate bone. I ate bone marrow on my, um, um shoot it was our anniversary we went out and i got so two bones and i was dying i was like i was a vegetarian i'm like oh my god i'm i am so scraping savage. the marrow out but i'm gonna be honest i couldn't eat it raw like just like that i, I had to put it on a piece of toast because <laughs> 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 i was like okay maybe next time i'll eat it just like it is but i you have know to, crystal like, crystal's not there yet either i ate i uh, two different servings of bone marrow today. She's not quite there. She, you know, she said, I can put it on like an almond cracker. I could put it on. Yeah, an that's, cracker. that's it. Okay. Next hey, man, time, get, I'll try an cracker. get it in you, get it in you. Um, I want to, I want to talk to you about your results. Um, and initially, and then I also want to talk to you about that post that uh, I love so much about your, your, your back and your skin. And then I also want to talk about longevity. So let's start there. What was your okay. initial, results with the R shred, what kind of got your attention? Okay, so I know you have the disclaimer in there and I was really looking up what was happening with my skin and my mm -hmm. hair. And it said it was an, inf you know, inflammation mm -hmm. or, and I equated inflammation with um, being acidic. Mm -hmm. But I had been to the doctor and he had done blood work and he's like, you are so alkaline that it's actually off the charts. So it completely blew away my whole theory like i had to like step back and go okay i'm wrong because if i'm that alkaline and i have this condition that's so inflammatory that it was making me miserable and i was losing hair um and i i didn't know what was wrong and then you popped up and then i saw um crystal with her skin and i'm like you know what i'll do anything to heal i'll go backwards on 180 on everything i've ever done yeah. And I was so into it because I, I didn't know what was wrong and I couldn't have been eating more healthy. I was completely vegan at the time. I, I had tightened up my diet. I zero of my treats, any of my treats. And it was all of a sudden I was like, what's going on? Right. I couldn't, you know, I couldn't, if you saw my meals, they were so complex, you know, cashew dip and all these vegetables in the huge pile of, colors and rainbows and everything that I thought was right. And, um, you know, and everything was breaking down. So, so you're, you're, you, this was a very not, you teed it up, you teed it up and now I'm going to let you hit it out of the park. What, what is this? Tell us, I'm just going to show people, hold on. I see, I see a picture on the left. I see a pick top picture on the right. The picture on the bottom, not only is whatever was going on is, is appears to have, uh, resolved, but the also, in terms of of shape and muscle um lean muscle mass and you know just being kind of shredded if you will like i see a lot going on there that's very exciting so can you speak to this i i will because i it, i'm shocked because the first picture was when i started the second picture at the top was after the 11 days mm -hmm. the one underneath is 30. I, now I work out three times. I love to work out. I mean, I love to be active. So I worked out, I work out three times a week and I play tennis two or three times a week and I do Pilates or something else sort of stretching and stuff. So it's not that my activity did not change whatsoever. If that was all in that, I don't know. I, I can't, it's do you, do you look at your, do you look at your lower back? You know, that, that lower picture where you're back. I mean, good God, you look like a gymnast or a, a, a like an Olympic swimmer or something like that's insane, insane contour and, and, uh, physique. Like, do you look at that and go, 
damn. <laughs> you know, I, I never did because all I was suffering was my skin. Uh, it wasn't until it popped up on my screen and my daughter said to my husband, is that mom's back? Oh my God. And I went, oh, there's, <laughs> it wasn't just the skin. I actually had some muscles and I never thought about it. Yeah. Like it never entered my mind. But now that, you know, somebody pointed out, I was, wow, yeah, I did kind of have muscle showing up that was probably underneath all that other stuff. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What other, what other things did you notice in terms of result? I have to correct that with the protein going in. Mm -hmm. I think that that was muscle building versus not before. And what was your saying? What was the other result? Yeah. Just what other, what other There's, things did you notice, so, pick up on, learn everything, okay. quality of life, so, uh, quality of fitness, everything. The ease of dinner. Um, when I first started, I remember everybody coming alive in five days. I could not get up my stairs and I run three to four miles at a time. And I would get up the stairs and I would be like, oh my gosh. So I had to cut way back because my body had so carb burned for so long yeah. that I had no idea how to burn fats and protein. Right. Because I, I was protein. I don't want to say deficient, but I just like black beans is not going to do it. No. Right. Um, but I did eat fish a couple times a week at that point. And that wasn't cutting it when I picked that up. It had, it was, um, it was the meat. <laughs> it was the meat. And I hadn't eaten meat since I was like, oh, uh, junior high. Yeah, yeah. I kind of got, got off meat pretty early. Um, so anyway, um, what happened was when my energy did come back, I, I couldn't believe it, but I didn't really, it's like one of those aha moments. I went for a vacation and I was with a large group of people in the mountains and I'm a flatlander. I don't hike. I don't do any of that stuff. And they said, Hey, you want to go on a hike? And I thought, Oh, it'll be easy. And they started hiking. These guys were 20 and 30 somethings and I'm double that. And they started down this hill at 4 AM in the dark. And all we had was our phone lights and I was afraid I was going to get left. So I was highly motivated. And I sprinted down all flat surfaces down. Jump, it was a three hour hike, got to the bottom. And when I went back to the top, the girl I was with, she's like, what are you doing? And I was like, what? She goes, you blew me away and I run marathons. And I'm like, well, I didn't want to get left, number one. But number two, I realized that I had so much more endurance and power than I've yeah. ever had. And that's when I realized, okay, there's something really going on here that I had no idea until I tried something like that. Yeah. I felt that too. So, I felt like, I felt bionic. I felt so bionic like power. I, it, yeah. Made me, made me cry, brought me to tears. Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought, was like, I thought I didn't I, know life could be so good. <laughs> exactly. And mm. that I could still do it at this age. I'm like, yeah, no yeah. problem. <laughs> so cool. So cool. I, um, I really love all, all that you're sharing. I'm, I'm so grateful for you and that you're around and that you, you know, have you kept up with the meats for over two years now? So absolutely. There's been some moments where I'm like, oh, I wish I could feel this good and eat the other way. And then I just realized I can't, but what I, and I haven't surprisingly, I don't miss all the vegetables. Mm. I think there was even a post about the amount that goes through us that gets discarded waste. Yeah. Like I can remember thinking I'm using everything I'm putting in my body now versus having this massive amount of stuff going through my body. Um, so now my sides are like mushrooms and avocados and they're simple. And my plate is highly meat. And the proportion would be, if I have a salad, it would be super small. It mm -hmm. might be once or twice a week max. And maybe a you know a vegetable here and there that don't bother me. I don't have a sensitive stomach, but my favorites are like mushrooms, easily digestible stuff. Mm. I'm super super happy, and like I'm not missing out on anything. You can't pay for these types of uh, of uh, testimonials, you guys. You you couldn't you couldn't afford to pay for them. I want to ask you one more question. Um, unless you have anything else you'd like to share, I just I have a, a last question for you. Okay. So the question is this, have you noticed, um, you know, I know you love your sister very much. 
Um, I know you care about her a lot. Uh, you, that much is apparent. Have you noticed the changes in her? Um, I've noticed, you know, her and I chat somewhat frequently. Um, she is one of my most favorite people on the earth. Um, I've noticed really cool cognitive and emotional changes and enhancements in her. Have you, have you noticed that as well? Oh, oh absolutely. Um, yeah, if you go, if we go way back to pictures, there's pictures, but there's even a video that um, when she first came up north closer to me, where there's no way she would be riding a bike. Uh, walking was difficult. Speech was difficult. Um, and now she had to clear her body of a lot of things. But I, with the ER shred, it's a vibrancy that wasn't there before. It was a struggle for her before. Mm -hmm. And um, like everybody, including me, it keeps getting deeper with her. She keeps going further, conquering more. Uh, we all have ourselves to conquer <laughs> inside. Um, and uh, it never stops. But, um, you know, I think the ER shred, like you were saying, gives you more things, not things, depth into well-being. And sometimes we can mask that stuff with being outside of ourselves. And somehow I think the shred invites us to tune in. And when we start with food, other things happen in our lives that we start to tune into. So it's just a, yeah, that's what I noticed with her, but Thank it's, you. it's a, it's a gift for everybody. Believe it. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's, that's amazing. Um, you, you gave me those goosebumps all over my whole body. Um, you, you made me feel, you said it even better than, than I did. And that's why I asked the question is because I'm sure that you know, your observation of her is, is even more um, meaningful than, than mine with you being her sister. I also think that the community itself is nourishment. Um, mm -hmm. and, and I hope that people can see that. One of, one of her breakthroughs more recently that she shared with me privately, I just kind of looked at Crystal and I go, damn, like, damn, like this woman is really growing. Like she became self-aware and I, I'm not going to share what that is, but the self-awareness, because that was privately shared with me and I honor that and I would never share that publicly, but the self-awareness that she's experiencing um, is, is next level. And uh, I, I was just so grateful that she was, that she felt like it was a safe space for her to share that with me. And anyway, I love you, Tracy. Um, thank you so much. Love you all. And I really appreciate the community. Jesse, man, you know, I tune in all the time. You don't know it, but I'm listening to all these whenever recordings, I have it in my ear. It's so inspiring. And Sean, you just pick everybody up. You allow us to be us. And that's what's so liberating. And it allows us to do that work inside. And um, not many people are bring that out in others in, in this mm. world right now. So it's, it's such a gift. And I keep telling people, just don't, don't leave the group, stay in the group, stay in the group. It, it's so powerful. So thank you all. And um, if you come to St. Everything. George uh, or, or, you know, if I was up North, I don't know how often you're in park city now or whatever, but um, I would really love to get together in person. So I just want to put that, to, put that we'll out do there. That. And my son and, uh, grandkids and daughter-in-law are there so we go a couple times a year and I'd love to do that yeah so let me know keep me posted okay well thank you thank you thank for inviting you.